The first year that I remember yeah. going on my own yeah. with, with lads from school was when I was 13 and it was Norwich City 4 0 and you scored the goal in it. Blimey, Pop that Robson was... scored two. Oh, little Pop, yeah. Tommy yeah. and Tommy Taylor. Oh, Tommy. been a West Ham supporter all my life. Well, I used to go to the games uh, early on with my, my uncles and my dad. First time I went to a match was when I was 13 and I went to the West Ham at home to Norwich City where we won 4-0. And Sir Trevor scored one of the goals. But I left school at 15, went straight into the army as a boy soldier. Did eight years in the Royal Green Jackets and then from there, I, I left. Decided to go back into the military and ended up going to the, the French Foreign Legion in the Parachute Regiment, served there. Did five years there and ended up as um, a sergeant in the Parachute Regiment. So I worked overseas for about 25 years. And then, and then obviously, that's when the problems with PTSD came out. Sort of gone undiagnosed for years, which I didn't realise I had. It was actually the children that put me onto it. I had quite a few sort of bad incidents and I uh, ended up getting referred to hospital and stuff, you know, went through quite a hard time. Well, very hard time. Been dormant for many years and then it just sort of came out, came out of nowhere, basically. There was, there's actually more ex-soldiers or ex-forces that have passed away predominantly through suicide after the Falklands War than actually died during the Falklands War. Went through some troubled years and then started to sort myself out and ended up coming to the Poppy Factory. Yeah, I started here um, actually seven years ago in, in two weeks time, so 2017. I started off, we've been in production, so I'm making reeves now, but we've done every, you know, crosses, all the different types of reeves. I always get in early, get set up, and then start doing the reeves around eight o'clock, and then go from there. Um, normally get about 50 reeves done a day. That's Djibouti uh, in East Africa. That was 1986. That's me and a good mate, Nobby Nolan. That's in Corsica, and then that's in Chad. And that guy, the big lad in the middle, is a West Ham supporter as well. <laughs> This is the old poppy factory, the original one in the 1920s. There used to be about 300 employees here at one time. So this represents all the guys that, that work in the poppy factory and all the regiments that we served in. So that's my old regiment there. That one. And this is from people that back to work people, stuff that they've, do, they've done to make their recovery. <laughs> It sounds a bit dramatic, but the fact that I came to the Poppy Factory probably saved my life, you know, because I was really spiralling downhill rapidly. Yes, it, it, it's helped me massively. So, I'm, as I say, I'm OK now. Um, I was in a really bad place at one time. So. <laughs> the first year that I remember yeah. Going on my own yeah. with, with lads from school it was when I was 13, and it was Norwich City 4 0, and you scored the goal in it. Blimey, Pop that Robson was... scored two. Oh, little Pop, yeah, Tommy, yeah. And Tommy Taylor oh, Tommy. scored the goal. <laughs> me, me, some place for um, Romford Colts. Oh, does it? Yeah. There's 54 on these, and it's double that on, on oh, these. So 108, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Right. But if you get any problems with the hole, what you do is get one of these. Oh, well, you dig it just... in. Yeah, yeah. And, and then do you do the outer one second? Yeah, and work And then work through the middle bits yeah. later. Fantastic day, really enjoyed it. Good to meet uh, one of my boyhood heroes and um, the ups and downs and I'm uh, still blowing bubbles. So.
There you go. Brilliant.